Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life. And you guys, we haven't done an actual Sunday cooking video in a while. In a while, right? You guys will remember Sundays are normally when we do like cooking videos, keto videos, health journey videos. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Yeah. And we're making something that we have not made yet. I'm really excited for. In fact, this is one of the foods that we keep saying, how have we not had this more often right. on keto? Mm -hmm. Today, we are making Alaskan cod tacos. <laughs> Obviously living in Alaska, one of the things we have in abundance is seafood. Um, cod is is almost always easy to get, cheap to get. Yep, so, cod, and hal yummy. cod and halibut, mm -hmm. and they're two seafoods that Sherry really likes. Yeah. Uh, I love salmon, you guys know Sherry's not a big salmon fan. So when we're doing something like this, um, we're like, you know what, let's get cod. Yeah. Also, it flakes great for like tacos. Mm -hmm. It's really great. And so this is a recipe that we have tweaked a little bit to make it keto friendly. And it looks like it's gonna be pretty simple and fingers crossed it's gonna be pretty delicious. Yeah. Now there's like three parts to this that we're gonna make. Yeah. There's an avocado cream sauce we're gonna make. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And then there's kind of the salad, the mm -hmm. greens that go on the taco. And then there's the cod. And we're, gonna do the, itself, we're yeah. gonna do the fish itself. Which is, and we're gonna do the fish two different ways. Mm -hmm. One for me, for my tastes. Yeah. And one for Sherry for hers. <laughs> so let us show you all the ingredients we need for this recipe. All right, so here's what we need. I'm gonna start in the back corner over here. These are the items that we're gonna need for the avocado cream sauce. Uh, we're gonna need, obviously, avocado. Uh, we're gonna need lime juice, mayonnaise. We're gonna use sour cream. You could also use Greek yogurt, but we have sour cream, so we're gonna yeah. use that. Uh, a little bit of water, and then we're going to use ground cumin and a little bit of salt. Now, if you're a fan of spice, you like spicy things, you actually could also add to this like the juice from like a jalapeno, jar of jalapenos. They would add a little bit of spice to it and that would be delicious. Sherry, not a spice fan, so we're not gonna do that. The next thing we are going to make is the salad part of it, the greens part of it. And for that, we just need some shredded lettuce. You can see we have about two cups of shredded lettuce right there. Uh, some green onions we have up there. We have some cilantro. Oh it my! It smells gosh. so good. You guys, <laughs> cilantro is our best friend. Mm -hmm. We've got more lime and then some salt. And then over here we have our cod. We're gonna cook this up and we're gonna cook this two different ways. Like I said, I want my cod to be blackened. I like spice. So I'm gonna use some of this blackened fish magic. Sherry on her side is actually just going to sprinkle it with some taco seasoning that we actually made. Um, gosh, I don't remember what vlog we made this for, but once we made our own taco seasoning, we're like, we will never go back to those packets again. Okay. This tastes so much better. So we're gonna do the fish up with those, and then we have our little low carb, carb counter tortillas, and then we're gonna top it with this queso fresco, just like Mexican crumble cheese, which is just fun to play with. And so we'll top it with that. And also delicious. And delicious, but this is everything we need for our keto fish tacos. The first thing that we're gonna do is actually get our cod ready. Now, you could cook the cod in the oven. We're actually gonna cook it in the air fryer just because it will be a little bit quicker. So step one, let's take care of the cod. So I got um, a little over a pound, probably a pound and a quarter of cod. And it came in a couple of different flays. You can see we have one giant one here, and then we have a smaller one over here. Now these are not going to fit in our air fryer. So I'm actually going to take this one and cut this in half. And then I'm just going to cut this into just more manageable size fillets as well. So now we have one, two, three, four, five cod fillets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two fillets for Sherry. I'll give her probably these two, a bigger one and a smaller one, and I will take those three. Now I'm gonna take the cod and I'm going to put it in the air fryer. And then I'm just gonna take her taco seasoning and just kind of sprinkle it over the cod like so. And then I'm just gonna press it gently into those fillets. And I'm gonna flip it over and do the exact same thing on the other side. Next, I'm gonna do mine. Again, mine's a blackened seasoning, so I'm gonna try to not get that spice on Sherry's because- Thank you. Yep, you would not appreciate that. Correct. There we go, there's our cod fillets. 
Now we're gonna put it in the air fryer. It would probably help if I plugged it in. Oh, hell, sometimes. Oh yeah, that was much better. <laughs> so we're gonna cook this at 370 degrees. We're going to uh, cook it for eight minutes. It says eight to 10 minutes normally for cod. Let's check it at eight, see if we need to add a couple more. Next thing we're gonna make is our avocado cream. So I've got our Ninja Blender right here because we're gonna need to blend everything up. So let's make that. So the first thing is we're gonna take half of a ripe avocado. Go. Perfect. And then I'm just gonna put that right here in our blender. Excellent. And then you can also scoop out the inside and um, you should get to eat that. It's really good. <laughs> Next, we're gonna squeeze half of a lime in there. We're both big lime fans, so we don't mind if we have a little extra lime in there. No, not at all. Love lime. In fact, I would say you and I both prefer lime even to lemon, correct? Yeah, I think so, yep. Then we are gonna take one tablespoon of mayo. There we go. Obviously we're not measuring, we're just kind of eyeballing. Yep, it's totally. <laughs> one tablespoon of sour cream or again, Greek yogurt, if you want to use that. It would actually help if I opened this. <laughs> I just realized, I was like, I'm not sure anything's gonna come out of this bad boy. All right, one tablespoon. There you That's go. better. <laughs> yeah, it's more like two tablespoons, but it's fine. Now I'm doing two tablespoons of water, an eighth of a tablespoon of ground cumin which honestly is like so little basically like a pinch but you know what i like cumin <laughs> and gosh darn it sherry we're in charge yeah we are and then just like a pinch of sea salt so i'm just gonna give it a couple cracks there good to go now we are going to blend all of this up pulse this up it's a very loud dinner to make Yes, it is. <laughs> With the air fryer and the blender. Obviously, we want to try this to see how it is. Oh my gosh. Sherry Beth. Whoa. What do you think? Oh, that's really good. Really good. It's nice and tangy. Uh huh. Oh, that's good. We're going to put our avocado cream in there. It's even better than I was expecting. It's so good. You can taste like all the little pieces and parts of it. Absolutely. So next we're gonna make up our salad. Again, this is what's gonna go on the tacos. So we have about two cups of just like shredded iceberg lettuce. You could add red cabbage in here. You could add anything like that as well. We just had, we had, had iceberg. This, so we just decided to cut that up. Yep, we're using what we have. Yeah. The air fryer just stopped, you can probably hear that. Uh, so we'll check on the cod in a second. Now I'm gonna add one diced green onion in there and let's check the cod. Oh yeah, it's done. Mm. So oh one of the things gosh. you're looking for, just you know, with cod, other white fish, is we're looking for it to flake. Now, sometimes you can check that with a fork. Uh, sometimes you can just like, well, honestly look at it and it's see. It's kind of doing it by itself Because it's naturally doing it by itself, just like yep. pulling away like that. Oh my goodness. Yep. So this cod is done. So I'm actually just gonna put it back in the air fryer, not turn it on, and just kind of let it stay warm in there while we finish up the salad mm -hmm. here. Now we're gonna add it says a quarter cup of cilantro. We like cilantro though. Yeah, so <laughs> honestly, we're going to have way more than that. Oh, it smells so good. It's one of my favorite things. I think that I think that if leg life ever goes away, what we do is we just turn this into a cilantro fan channel. I think so, yeah. Like all of our content is just like all cilantro all the time. Mm -hmm. I'd be okay with that. I was just gonna say, honestly, that kind of sounds I perfect. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad either. Now, because we like cilantro, I'm fine with these being some bigger pieces. Yeah. So I'm actually just gonna take that, and that goes right in there, like that, and you can't let any cilantro go to waste, so <laughs> that's going in there mm -hmm. as well. The next thing we have, the last thing we have here for this is just more lime juice. This just says a tablespoon, which this will be more than that, but as, as Sherry mentioned earlier, we're big lime juice fans, so I'm just gonna use probably about that much. And then half a teaspoon of salt. So just crack some of that in there, probably right about like that. And then we're just gonna take our hands and we're just gonna toss that and just mix it up and just make sure everything is nice 
and mixed together. I'm so excited for this. Yeah, the red cabbage would have made it a little prettier. Totally. But we didn't have that and didn't feel the need to buy a whole head of red cabbage for just this tiny bit. All right, so we have our plates out with our low carb tortillas. The first thing we are putting down in this is just a little bit of that salad. It smells really good. It, it smells, smells really, really fresh. I was just gonna say fresh. <laughs> it totally does. Now, what I'm gonna do is I have a piece of cod for Sherry, a piece of cod for me. I'm actually just gonna flake this up into like bite size kind of pieces. So something like that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna take some of this Now it's going right on there like that. Look how good that looks. What do you think, Sherry Bath? Mm -hmm. Yeah? It looks really good. Then what we're doing is we're actually gonna take that avocado cream and just kind of right across the top, like so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a little bit of this queso fresco, which is really great because it just like, it crumbles like feta. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yep. Now you could also, if you wanted to get crazy, <laughs> you could top this with more fresh cilantro. Mm -hmm. You could put jalapenos in this. But any other kind of cheese you want. Any other kind of cheese you want. And so, you guys. You can cater this to your own likes. Absolutely. But, for us, gosh darn it, I think that looks pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Here we go, the first bite. Is it good? <laughs> it is perfect mm -hmm. in every single way. The cod, for me, has like that blackened flavoring, which is amazing. Um, It tastes so fresh. It's like that salad you talked about, the cilantro, the lime juice, like everything is perfect. The tartness of the avocado cream, like there's a lot going on here, but it's like it all works so well. <laughs> so we need to go sit down and eat so you can try this. Mm -hmm. So you saw my reaction, Sherry Beth. I'm curious to see what you think of our first ever keto fish tacos. So good. They're perfect. Like the fish is perfect. It's not dry. <laughs> I know. Um. Everything works so well together. It's yep. very fresh tasting. If I ordered these at a restaurant, if these were like keto fish tacos at a restaurant, mm -hmm. I would be stoked. I'd be thrilled. So yeah. good. Confession time, the cod is so good that I went and got an extra piece out of the air fryer <laughs> and I'm having my other taco and a piece of cod. <sighs> I'm so happy. <laughs> And just so we're clear, Sherry and I are not the only ones benefiting from this dinner <laughs> because Sherry is like cutting off some inside pieces of cod that don't have any seasoning on them and giving them to Missy. And like she is absolutely snarfing them. She's a fan. Down. Holy cow, Missy. Take a breath between bites, why don't you? <laughs> Jeez Louise. So friends, dinner is finished. Mm -hmm. Sherry, final thoughts. It was really good. Better than you expected? Yes. Uh, as we said at the beginning, this was one of those meals that we, I don't know why we haven't done this before. Uh, all of the ingredients are readily available to us. Right, like we have most of them on hand, which is why we kind of changed a few things. That's one of the things I would say if you make this recipe again. I'm going to link the recipe down below, um, but like we made some tweaks, we customized mm -hmm. it. There were some things that we didn't use, like the red cabbage. We didn't buy red cabbage because honestly, like I didn't know what we would do with the rest of the red cabbage. We wouldn't use a lot of it and we already had lettuce, so yep. we just used that. Yep, so I don't want to buy something just to like throw the rest of it away for one recipe. Yeah. So like we used what we had on hand. Mm -hmm. uh, but also if, again, if you want spicy, like make that avocado cream mm -hmm. spicy. Yeah, with jalapeno or whatever kind of spice you want in it. Totally. Make it uh, your own. You could do mm -hmm. this with halibut. You could do this with salmon. Uh, you could do it with shrimp. Mm -hmm. uh, this was great. This is a meal we will for sure do again. Yes. It was quick. It didn't take long at all. Right. The cod was eight minutes in the air fryer at mm -hmm. 370. And that wasn't enough time for us to do the sauce and the um, salad. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was, yeah, like we, the cod was done before the other two things. Which is super great. So yeah. this one to me is a winner and a keeper. Yeah. So friends, we love you. Thanks for following along on our cooking keto journey here mm -hmm. with our first ever um, keto fish tacos. Fish tacos. 
Yeah. See you guys in the next Life Life video.